welcome back to the channel we've um we've got this little project here it's not going to be a long sort of episode or anything but it's just a um a six liter crewman that come in a while ago we put a vortex supercharger on it and a bit of a fuel system in a cooler and tuned it when we tuned it we had a lot of issues with belt slip um a bit of detonation um showing up in the in the in the data logger so you know we figured the headers are a little bit small um we're getting big air temps the the air intake that come with it is um mounted up in the engine bay it's quite hot there so we're, we're gonna do something different with that um yeah so we customers got like a full set of wheels going on it a full exhaust going on it a few body panels and that we're just tidying up fabricating an intake we sorted out some issues with the belt slip so we're going to use an Aeroflow manual tensioner just so we can set like a bit more tension in the belt and we've also added like an idler pulley just to get more belt wrap around the actual supercharger pulley um yeah other than that it's just a nice pretty tidy vz manual six liter crewman but yeah we'll take a little bit of a look at what we're doing and yeah i think that's it i can't really think what else we're doing to it it's just some service items and we're going to dyno tune it at the end and you can check that out with us um but yeah <clears throat> So you, this is the kit we put on. This pipe was wrong in the kit, so we fabricated this. This was uh, six or eight months ago now. This extra pulley here we've added just now, um, just to get more wrap on the supercharger pulley. More purchase to hopefully stop it from slipping. This is the air intake that come with the kit this flexi hose that sort of just hangs around the engine bay here so we're going to make a nice stainless part that'll run around here we'll have to remove and mount the ecu somewhere else make a nice stainless part that'll put the air filter down in front of the front bumper there it's a nice cold air yeah we'll take a look at that So we've just pulled this intercooler pipe out, sort of marked out what we need to cut out so we've got the room to run another bit of pipe through there. So cooler pipe's three inch and then three and a half inch intake. It kind of takes up a fair bit of space, but should be able to make it work. <laughs> Definitely not put that in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's some snipping. <laughs> Very loud. Well, oh, there's a hole. It's not pretty <laughs> to go through and clean it up. Not really a big fan on cutting holes like this in the body, but if you want to do race car sh sometimes you just got to do it. Now we can clean this up and get on with mocking up the intake. So that's all tacked in, so roughed in, I guess. Um, probably gonna open the hole up a little bit more down the bottom. Cooler pipe still fits, which is good. Got a filter on there now. Yeah, really happy with that, actually. So they make like a bit of a mount to sort of hold some of the weight of it, rubber mount. 
mound our ECU up, get it all final fit back together. And yeah, it's probably pretty excessive for a intake, but looks cool. It's going to sound cool. It's going to be a lot better than what was on it. Yeah, we'll weld it out and we'll see how it looks. Everything's final fit. We got it all mounted up. The air filter's on the way we wanted it. Everything worked out really well. Um, we just need to mount the ECU now. It's, it used to be mounted in here and we just don't have the room for it now. Figure out where I'm going to put that. Get it there. We're going to change our uh, auto tensioner out for a manual one, Aeroflow make. It's because we're having a lot of belt slip issues still. Um, yeah. Once we get it back up on the hoist, we'll have a look at underneath. I'll give you a look at what that looks like. Right. That's all final fit. Everything's tight, clean. Used a bit of pickle and paste to try and make it look a bit prettier and turn that all right. ECU has been moved and mounted back up here. Uh, it's like the reservoir that holds the oil for the supercharger. Had to move that. Got the belt off now, and we're gonna get this aeroflow manual tension to fit it up. One of the reasons it come back is we're having a lot of issues with belt slip. So we've added this idler here to get more purchase on the supercharger pulley. And we think just get rid of the auto tensioner and put a manual tensioner in there and just load it up a fair bit and see how it acts. We'll whack that in. <laughs> 